Real estate tips for sellers. We're talking about that today. So let's get started. Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Michelle Babino. I'm with teambabino.com and with Future Home Realty here in Tampa, Florida. Today we're gonna to be giving real estate tips for sellers. Seven common home selling mistakes. But before we do that, I wanna make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the little notification bell. That way you're notified every week when we post a new video. The seven common mistakes that home sellers make Many of them revolve around pricing. Number one, setting a price without careful research. You may think you can get the value of your home by checking listing portal estimates or even by looking at the homes that are selling around you. But the real value can vary based on available inventory, time of year, recent sales, prices, and much more. To arrive at a reasonable price range, get a comparative analysis. We offer these for free and you can contact us by scheduling a call at this link up here and we'll go ahead and reach out to you and we can discuss all the variables that would come into pricing your particular home. Number two, pricing too high from the start. Statistics show that overpriced homes generate fewer showings than those priced closer to the market average. Also, homes that are priced correctly when they first hit the market sell closer to the asking price than those that are priced too high. The third common mistake is using an odd selling price. When buyers are searching real estate websites, they enter price ranges like 200,000 to 250,000, 100,000 to 200,000. And if you set your price to stand out, like let's say 302,449, you may miss some of your best potential customers. Now that being said, if you do your due diligence in pricing your home, you can play around with those numbers to make them a little bit odd. If most of the buyers in your neighborhood are going to be looking up to the $200,000 range, it wouldn't make sense to price it at the 201990. It would make more sense to price it just under the $200,000 range. And we can go into more detail when you click that link to schedule that call. Number four most common mistake is overpricing because you're rushed to sell. You may think that because you need to sell quickly, if you overprice your home, you're going to yield the most money. Think again. <laughs> Interest in your home is going to be during the first few weeks. The longer the home is on the market, the less likely you are to get showings, let alone your price. If you don't listen to anything else that I'm saying today, please listen to this. Do not. Do not overprice your home when you're in a rush thinking if you overprice it, you will get more money. Number five, getting emotionally involved. At the end of the day, selling your home is a business transaction. So don't get offended if somebody comes in with a low offer. Consider it an opportunity to negotiate. Number six, expecting your house to sell itself. Even in a seller's market, you need to make sure that your home is in tip-top condition, tastefully staged, and effectively marketed if you want to sell your home quickly and at a good price. The number seven common mistake is trying to sell it on your own. According to the National Association of Realtors, for sale by owner homes stay on the market longer and sell for $39,000 less than those sold with the help of using a real estate professional. We would love to help you selling your home to avoid these seven common mistakes. Give us a call. You can schedule again by clicking on that link. And I will also have a PDF download for you so that you can review these seven common mistakes to make sure that you don't do these when you go to sell your home. Thank you again for watching. We post a new video every Friday and we look forward to having you back. Guys, hi, how long have you been in residential real estate? And can you tell me, is this your full-time job? Like most 